Antarctica's underground volcanoes sound alarm bells as eruption would melt huge caverns. Now, uh, we've had uh, scientists, geologists coming out telling us as they've found over 147 volcanoes in Antarctica, most of them on the west coast that seems to be warming up, and some of them are quite new. Other geologists have come out telling us that there could be several Yellowstone supervolcano areas under Antarctica. Now, Antarctica our alarm bells were previously sounded after scientists warned of a potential volcanic eruption beneath the icy continent, leading to major global sea levels rise. Obviously, if these ice sheets melt, uh, that would, of course, increase the seawater levels. Antarctica has long concerned environmentalists and scientists studying the effects of climate change. Slight changes in things like the temperature can lead to larger volumes of ice melt. And, of course, this means rising water levels surrounding areas in the rest of the world as well. Global temperatures continue to rise year on year with European countries this month experiencing some of their warmest temperatures on record. And as a result of that, some of the uh, French nuclear, nuclear plants were in danger because of the heat. Now, by June 2022, had already ranked the sixth warmest on record. And beneath Antarctica's icy surface lie more than 100 volcanoes. Only in recent years have scientists uncovered the largest volcanic region on Earth there. It's tucked away two kilometers under the ice sheet, which spreads across the continent's western front. And that's where most of the volcanoes have been discovered. One of the tallest was the same height as Switzerland's famous Eger Mountain, staggering 3,967 meters tall. In 2017, a team of Edinburgh University, which made the discovery, suggested the volcanic region was even larger than East Africa's volcanic ridge. That's where we have the Great Rift Valley, as we know, and rated as once having the world's densest concentration of volcanoes. Antarctica has just two active volcanoes right now, Mount Erebus and Deception Island. Deception Island, by the way, is mostly ice-free. Now, scientists who study the area say there is little chance of volcanoes posing any real threat in the near future, but some suggest their eruption is imminent and could have serious consequences for the world's population. John Smelly, professor of volcanology, University of Leicester in the UK, previously proposed that the slightest movement from the volcanoes could create significant amounts of meltwater. So slowly, this water would stream into the sea, raising global levels. And speaking to the conversation in 2017, he said, the volcanoes would melt huge caverns in the base of the ice and create enormous quantities of meltwater. Because the West Antarctic ice sheet is wet rather than frozen to its bed image, uh, an ice cube, imagine an ice cube on a kitchen work table as the ice cube, of course, uh, melts underneath. The meltwater would act as a lubricant and would cause the overlying ice to slip and move more rapidly. He says these volcanoes can also stabilize the ice. However, as they give it something to grip onto, imagine that same ice cube snagging onto a lump-shaped object. In any case, the volume of water that would be generated by even a large volcano is a pinprick compared with the, the volume of the overlying ice. He said, so a single eruption would not have much effect on the ice flow. What would make a big difference is if several volcanoes erupted close to or beneath any of the West Antarctica's prominent ice sheets, ice streams. Around 80% of the world's fresh water reserves are stored in Antarctica, meaning that if it melted, global sea levels would rise around 60 meters. That's, what, 180, 200 feet high. This would, scientists say, make the planets uninhabitable for humans. Now, we know that most uh, rivers, or coast, coasts of rivers and oceans, of course, are where cities uh, and towns are, are located. Professor Smelly said, an eruption beneath the ice, the ice could cause the process to speed up. Ice streams are rivers of ice that flow much faster than their surroundings. He said, they are zones along which most of the ice in Antarctica is delivered to the ocean and therefore fluctuations in their speed can affect the sea level. 
And he said if the additional lubricant provided by multiple volcanic eruptions was channeled beneath the ice streams, the subsequent rapid flow may dump unusual amounts of West Antarctica's thick interior ice into the oceans, causing sea levels to rise. Under ice volcanoes are probably what triggered a rapid flow of ancient ice streams into the vast Ross Ice Shelf, Antarctica's biggest ice shelf. He said something similar have occurred about 2,000 years ago with a small volcano in the Hudson Mountains that lie underneath the West Antarctica ice sheet. If it erupted again today, it could cause the nearby Pine Island Glacier to speed up. And he said, most dramatically of all, a large series of eruptions could destabilize many more subglacial volcanoes. As volcanoes cool and crystallize, their magma chambers become pressurized and all that prevents the volcanic gases from escaping violently in eruption is the weight of the overlying rock, or in this case, several kilometers of ice. As that ice becomes much thinner, the pressure reduction may trigger eruptions. More eruptions and more ice melting would mean even more meltwater being channeled under the ice streams, he said. It's important to note that most Antarctica volcanoes remain dormant. None have erupted for over 10,000 years, but scientists suggest that, that may, uh, come, they may become more active in the future because, of course, of the reduction of the ice over them. This is by Joel Day on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.